Hello, Masok Universe. Sidan is back, and Real Madrid is winning with the old guard. Uh, it was a Spanish day for me. I watched two games today, and they were uh, in, um, from Spain, actually involving both Madrid clubs. And yeah, Real Madrid won 2 0, um, so I decided to wear my Real Madrid shirt. Um, I'm not that big of a fan of Real Madrid, but this shirt is just a wonderful one. The shininess of it and everything. I, I really love almost everything about this shirt. Even with the blue and then a little bit yellow. Wonderful shirt. Check out there. I have the video uh, for the shirt. But let's go, let's go to the game. I think the... I don't want to say the big surprise, but when you saw the first Zidane lineup, I mean, this was basically his team uh, minus Ronaldo. He recalled Isco, we had Bale in the starting lineup, we had Marcelo in the starting lineup, and of course we had uh, Kayla Navas instead of Courtois in the lineup. Um, I was wondering, I mean, I kids all, all, all around, I, I didn't listen too much, I was wondering about Vinicius Jr., uh, whether he's injured or whether he's not, please drop in the comments below if you know a little bit more on that. Um, but yeah. Was it surprising? Maybe, maybe not. Honestly, um, Zidane knows his players and those are the ones he relies on. And yeah, uh, Real dominated the game uh, against Celta throughout. Gotta say, really nice jersey matchup. The white of Real against those purple uh, violet uh, jerseys of Celta. I really like them. Uh, I really like those jerseys. Um, gotta say. My daughters like them too, <laughs> of course. Yeah, but they were uh, they were good looking. Um, I think Celta only had one real chance, but also Real Madrid kind of you know, you could see it's not their time yet. Uh, kind of slow in the build up and all that 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 kind of stuff. Um, having chance. I mean, there was one huge one by Bale in the first half where he. I, I think first Benzema tried to do something artistic and then uh, with a scissor kick, uh, Bale hits the lower end of the bar, but it jumps out again. But um, at that point, it probably would have been all right, even if Real Madrid leads. They again had all the um, chances in the second half. I mean, they were really trying at the end. I think it was 22 shots on goal to three or something, you know, some ridiculous number. And they got the goal uh, through Isco with his last touch of, of the game, which was potentially by a hair of sight. But I, on, honestly, um, I thought, thought it was good. It was not given off sight for the simple reason that I don't like if there's just a little body part ahead of the defender. This is not an offside to me. I really like the old daylight rule where, you know, um, there needs to be a separation between the attacker and the defender. So... This, if this, if this is the attacker here, he said that this would not be offside. This now, now we have offside. Or define at least the body part. Uh, I'm always thinking about you know, sports like um, running. No, well, running is not, but uh, like um, cross country skiing, where it's the tip of the toe, or you know, so make it the torso. I think that's what have in running. I mean, other other as well. Make it that the torso is uh, ahead, of, but not. It seems like a little bit too scientific already that it can be any body part. So happy to uh, see that not uh, ru ruled out. Also, kind of not happy, but was very interested about many protests uh, against Florentino Perez that were immediately taken away. I think it was in the even the first half, the uh, second half, half, the uh, first they had. Um, Florentino Perez, uh, the guilty one, and then uh, Florentino, uh, Florentino de, uh, Delusion uh, was immediately taken down again. But yeah, the crowd is angry with Florentino Perez. That much you can say. On the other side, you know, he's the one who is bankrolling uh, Real Madrid. So, gotta take it from there. Uh, and yeah, the game with the 1 0 was. Pretty much decided, and Bale makes it 2 0. And surprisingly, everyone is celebrating with him. Maybe Zidane tried to get the team together again. And so Real Madrid was not all shiny, but they kept the win. Also, saw the other Madrid team against Atletico Bilbao, but I only saw two thirds of the game. Uh, all of most of second half, and uh, I think the last 15 minutes of the first half. Um, 
where it was kind of an even game. Second half, uh, Athletic had all the possession, you want to say. And, you know, most of the time they were kind of playing at the box of Bilbao, but no, they were not in any way danger. They didn't have a single shot on goal, and in the end, a wonderful uh, attacking move by Bilbao makes it 1-0 through Iñaki Williams. Later, a deflected shot makes it 2-0, and Atleti uh, finishes their horrible week that they had with being eliminated from uh, the Champions League by... Ronaldo's Juventus, let's put it that way. Other results for Spain, we had yesterday, uh, Real Sociedad Levante 1-1, uh, Huesca Alaves 1-3 was the early game. Huesca, uh, Alaves, I think, took the lead. They played in the nice uh, Basque-inspired white with uh, green red shoulders. I actually like that one as well. Uh, Alaves took the lead, Huesca got a penalty, um, make it 1-1. One, one. Um, and then they had two big chances that they didn't convert, and Alaves, being a top of the table team, uh, makes two with two goals and gets a 3 1 lead. And Girona wins 2 0 at Leganes. Uh, we're going to look not too much at the table, only Alaves is now, you know, one point behind Getafe for the Champions League spot, but they have a game less. Uh, Real Madrid is now within two points of Atletico Madrid, who of course lost, and Barcelona is with 63 ahead if they win uh, tomorrow at Betis Sevilla. Uh, 65, uh, 66 points is 10 points ahead of Atletico to up against Real. We know where this is going. Uh, let's quickly look through the other leagues. Um, starting uh, Germany, because there we have a full a match day. Gladbach, Freiburg 1 1. Uh, Gladbach stops their uh, series of home losses, but you know, Freiburg is only 1 1. Not good. Schalke uh, losing at home to Leipzig 1-0 through new old coach Hüb Stevens, who is for the third time at Schalke. I couldn't believe when I saw that. Stuttgart gets a point against Hoffenheim 1-1. Augsburg wins 3-1 against Hanover, being 1-0 down at halftime. Uh, Wolfsburg, after being 1-0 down against Düsseldorf, wins 5-2. Uh, I think that was uh, yeah, Weg Weghorst. Uh, made three goals. He was the uh, big uh, name there. And then uh, the biggest game in, uh, in, from the highlights it was really a great game between Hertha and Dortmund. And remember, this was a game, I think Dortmund was up 3-1 or 3-0 uh, in uh, the fall and uh, played only 3-3. So that was anyway going to be a good uh, game. And it started right off the bat. Uh, Hertha attacking and getting the 1-0 in the fourth minute through Kalou. Then Delaney gets the equalizer uh, before the quarter hour mark. Um, deflected shot, but you know, hard work. Dortmund getting more of the game, but uh, Hertha getting a really, really soft pen penalty. That was not a hands penalty, and I don't know why no one in uh, no one reviewed that one. I mean, they have war. The arm is here, and it goes there. This is not a pen pen penalty, in my view. It is given, Kalu makes it 2-1, uh, but later on uh, Hertha should have gotten the penalty that was not given and also, so maybe there's the balance there. Uh, right after the halftime, Sagadu uh, from a corner kick makes it 2-2 two -two, and then Dortmund wastes chance after chance after chance and Hertha actually has uh, opportunities to get the um, uh, uh, lead again, which they don't. And I said there was this penalty situation there, and Dortmund then really has a few chances. I think uh, they hit even the bar uh, towards the end of the game, and then in stoppage time, Marco Reus, uh, in one of his few good moves of the night, makes the winner for Dortmund. So that uh, gives them vital points and moves them ahead of Bayern. Uh, three points, Bayern, of course. Playing on uh, tomorrow against Mainz, and we, we know it's only three points for Bayern. Although they played so bad against Liverpool, maybe there are still some blues there. We might hope. So yeah, that's Germany. Uh, we're going to look at the table once everything is done. Da, 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 that's in a weekly uh, video. Premier League. Um, not too many games. Bournemouth, Newcastle 2-2. Two, two. I didn't see anything, any even highlights of these. Burnley, Leicester 1-2. Uh, and then the big game, um, 
was West Ham uh, against Huddersfield, the goal which was a 4-3. Huddersfield have, having a 3-1 lead and West Ham turning around in the last 15 minutes of the game. So uh, that's a biggie. Uh, many team, many uh, games postponed uh, because of the FA Cup, which we have a look at uh, next. There were three quarterfinal matches, uh, actually quite interesting ones. Watford Crystal Palace uh, ends 2-1, but you know, it was 1-1 uh, uh, at one point uh, through horrible mistakes by the Watford defense, but Watford overall dominated that one. But the, the two Manchester games, they also were the big ones. Swansea got a 2-0 lead at home to Manchester City. Um, one was a penalty and another one a really beautifully played attack uh, that you would expect from Manchester City. Really uh, nice one-twos and then a great finish. Make it 2-0 for uh, Swansea. Of course City had chances, but uh, it took them quite a while to get a goal, which was through uh, Bernardo Silva in the 69th. I'm already tired. Sorry for yawning. And then they get a penalty, which I don't think was a really a penalty. So um, Aguero stops up, uh, steps, steps up, hits the post, and then it jumps from the um, leg of the goalkeeper in, 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 into the goal. Cannot really blame him, but uh, horrible on goal in a way. I mean, that goalkeeper kept them in play. And then Aguero even gets the winner, so they turn to around from an offside position. Where is VAR? We could have City out of the competition, but you know, let's say a great, great, great game by Swansea just to get it. Uh, Grimes from a penalty and Celina uh, can make the two goals for them. And then Wolves beat uh, United 2 1. I didn't see much, I got twice in there, and so, and so the first, the last goal. First goal was by Jimenez in the 70th minute. Uh, make it 1-0, Di uh, Diogo Jota uh, makes it 2-0 for Wolves and just in stoppage time, 95th minute. I mean, was not the last action of the game, but more, more or less a rash for pulls from back. So United is out. Two losses in, in, in a row for Solskjaer. Maybe now we are hitting a little bit of a rough patch, but uh, remains to be seen. Uh, to me, that's a big surprise because uh, United, I thought, could win this one. If they put their uh, head to it, so yeah, uh, a little bit of surprise. I think the international break will be good for United after those two losses at Arsenal and now to Wolves. Um, kind of puts some danger in their season because you know you want to get into the Champions League spots. So that was England, uh, which leads us with only two more leagues that we're gonna look at. Serie A, um, interesting matches. I mean, yesterday evening, Cagliari, Foren, Cagliari Fiorentina. Um, boring first half, but then Cagliari absolutely dominating Fiorentina. Gets the 1-0 um, in the 52nd through Joao Pedro. Then a minute later, a free kick from the own half finds the back of the net and is ruled out for no reason for offside. Yes, when the free kick was taken, there was an offside and it was VAR. There was maybe an offside position, but that player never becomes in any way active. We really need to define the offside rule very, very, very well. I think it gets too spongy with everything. There was today at the Madrid game, the first goal for Madrid was actually taken away by VAR because Varane was right in the view of the goal, goalkeeper. The ball was going his way. He gets out of, out of the way. This was a clear offside to me. Uh, and fortunately, it was take, taken away and I didn't mention it. This was not an offside. JP Daly anyway makes it then 2-0 uh, two, two and only in the 88th minute um, Kale hit the bar and you know was, dom was dominant enough to deserve the win. Keza makes it uh, in the 88th 2-1 which makes the score a little bit closer than it should be. Speaking of a little bit closer than it should be, I know I wanted to watch Real Madrid but the first thing I saw was Sassuolo against Sampdoria and then I said no I'm not gonna, go, gonna watch that. A little bit of regret this. It ended 3-5. Sounds like an exciting game. It actually never was. Sampdoria had a 2-0 lead, then 2-1, then up to a 4-1 lead, uh, then it gets 4-2, uh, 5, and then 5-3. So it was basically um, all Sampdoria. De Frel, Cagliarella, Linetti, Pride, and uh, Gabbiadini make the goals for Sampdoria, and Boga, Duncan, and Babacar in stoppage time make the goals for Sassuolo. But 5 3, 
Italy. There are goals. Actually, there are quite some goals already this uh, in the four games. Spal with a, with a surprise win against Roma, although they won already in uh, Rome this season. Um, yep, doesn't look good for Roma, I gotta say. Uh, and it was actually a deserved win. Fares um, makes the 1 0, then Perotti from a penalty, which yeah, was okay. Um, gets uh, makes it 1 1, and then almost the same foul uh, in the box of Roma, and um, Spal gets a penalty, makes it 2 1, and should have actually had a um, third goal. Um, which they couldn't convert, and there was not much coming from Roma. I'm really getting worried about Roma. Um, I still think it was the wrong thing to uh, fire the coach, especially if you're such a young squad. Get the building in there. Don't expect a semi-final of the Champions League every single time. It just... I don't think this was a smart decision, but you know, Rome. And then Bologna gets vital points also. 3-2 in Torino after... Um, beating, I think Cagliari to beat last weekend, and now uh, they also beat Torino, and they're out of the relegation zone, is especially for now. Uh, at least for now, I mean, all the three Empoli, Frosinone, and Kiev have to play tomorrow. Let's see who Empoli is playing. They play at home to Frosinone. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that was basically the best thing that could happen to Empoli. Well, but we'll see. We know that the big game tomorrow is a derby. Uh, early game, uh, Genoa Juve at 12.30. Uh, could be interesting as well. Lazio Parma looks also like a good uh, game. And Napoli Udine. Maybe I'll make tomorrow an Italian day. We'll see. France, just one last thing. Um, I guess it needs to Toulouse 1-1. Uh, but the big result, I think it was also yesterday evening, was Lille against Monaco. And I saw uh, the highlights. Uh, Rather even game in the first half, and then in the second half, uh, Monaco actually slightly better, but they don't win it until the stoppage time, where uh, the ball falls to, um, what's his name, Carlos Vinicius, uh, who takes it first with his leg onto his chest to get past the defender and then slots it home. Really great Brazilian goal. Watch it if you can. Um, Angers, Amir, uh, nil nil. Carl Saint Etienne, uh, nil five. And then Guingamp, Dijon, one nil. And Nîmes, uh, Strasbourg, two two. So those are the ones we have, of course, tomorrow. Also the big game, which I won't watch because I'm watching the Milan Derby. Unless it goes the wrong way. And I might switch between PSG and Marseille. The classic game in France. Actually, I'm a little bit miffed because there are three games that I usually would watch almost at the same time. I mean, I think we staggered key kickers. We had at uh, 8.30, we have the Milan Derby at 8.45. It's Barcelona uh, at Betis, and then at 9, the French Le Classique. Let me know what you watched. As I said, I watched the two Spanish uh, matches. Uh, let, let me know in the comments below what you thought about the games you watched. Uh, any corrections that you want to make to what I was just tell telling you. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.